there's been a, a lot of ululation and a lot of intricate moves in the party ODM. I am asking the party ODM. I know the party leader has called for delegate, has called for central committee meeting on Wednesday. I'm aware. I'm asking of them. Central committee cannot be more powerful than NEC, according to the constitution. What I want them to do, let them call for a national election. Let them call a national delegate conference. I, as Alicia, I am sure I'll be the deputy party leader of ODM as Raila moves out. And I want to ask my competitors, this is, is about persuasion. Let us use the art of persuasion to persuade delegates to vote for you. There's no war. ODM will still remain, but what I refuse to agree, ODM as a party cannot be led by our brother lawyers. Oparanya is a lawyer. Sifuna is a lawyer. Mba, uh, Wandai is a lawyer. It is not possible that the party can be led by lawyers. This party must be led by the people of the Republic of Kenya, which include people from the coast, people from northeastern, people from central province, people from Rift Valley, and more importantly, people from the larger Luanyanza. And I want to ask Mbadi, as a nominated member, I heard the other day he came to game, talking carelessly. He's a, nom a mere nominated member. He didn't win election. He was beaten by Wanga. Gladys Wanga. You know, I, I would respond to a man who has not been beaten by a woman in terms of competition for an elective post. But I would not, I would not talk about bad because Kabake Maloui in the Choma Fuomanade. But I am glad, on the other hand, Gladys is doing a better job than all governors in Nyanza. Gladys is performing than all governors in Nyanza. These people you see here went through the same journey you are undergoing now. And as you are seated here, there may be challenges you have at home. They could be that perhaps the parents are struggling with fees. Perhaps even enough food is not available at home for you to be able to live a decent life. But if you are determined and you stay focused on your education, you will succeed. So the ladies who are here, the young girls who are here, please stay focused. Do not be distracted by earthly things and the allure of uh, adolescence to be able to mess your future. There is so much future ahead of you. And you are lucky you have a caring member of parliament who is able to join you here, support you. I'm sure even matters bursary, if there is, you should be able to get so that matters education in this constituency is taken uh, forward. I think that is the most important thing I would leave you with as students. But be focused. Without focus, without discipline, you cannot succeed in life. And discipline is not just about your life in school here. When you leave this nice compound and go to your next stage in life, you will find discipline following you wherever you will go. When you go to university, discipline will be part of you. When you eventually become an adult and start working, discipline is part of you. So it is something you must inculcate at this early age. I like speaking to students on a regular basis. I was in Jaramogi Oginga University two days ago, again just encouraging students of business studies, because that is my area of expertise, to be focused in their career journeys so that these parents are able to benefit and appreciate that they took you to school. They are sacrificing.
Ah, é. O Abedi, o Abedi, o Abedi. O meximento. Ei, o Mauro, não, 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 Thank you. I am Barakulu, or check my ten thousand. Oh, you put it in here. Oh, you don't walk out of the country. Oh, you don't walk out of the country. And only a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit FCBA GCPAK Mano ni wing ngami na wing emu me na kalo ewo Mara rio sani en director ma kemsa Director mara ngo Kama yen importe 